Taekwondo was the uh, first martial art that I was introduced to. I started Taekwondo when I was five years old. Um, and pretty much spent all my days uh, after school doing Taekwondo, four or five hours a day. And uh, that training there uh, you know, led to me to my career where I'm at now. I cannot think of a better way to bring oh, to the curtain. Oh my goodness, and Dennis, did you see flash. that? The infamous kick that I threw uh, you know, in the WEC, my last fight against Ben Henderson. I learned that move actually jumping off walls, breaking boards. Uh, we started as a, it was like a demo team. We would jump off walls, break boards, and uh, we used that in the octagon. And we started figuring out how to use it on a, a moving object, and uh, it's probably one of the best kicks in UFC history. Not having it all is up. Oh! Stepping side kick from Smoker. Richie Bass went down. From what I've seen so far, I think there's a, there's a lot of Taekwondo moves that are effective. We just haven't seen them in the octagon yet. But uh, so far in the octagon, we've seen front kicks, side kicks, just basic kicks that uh, you know, I learned when I was five years old. So um, these guys are starting to use them in the octagon, and, and they're all very effective. Again, it depends on the martial artist. There we go, good. Hands up, hands up. I think uh, Taekwondo is one of the martial arts that it's not so full contact. I mean, you can do Taekwondo and still not, not get beat up too bad. Parents see the life skills that uh, you know they're teaching. I mean, they're not te teaching kicks and punches. They're teaching you uh, the life skills that you know, I use as a, as, a, as a man growing up. So um, there's more to it than just the martial art, the kicking and punching. They're, they're attaching life skills. Without Taekwondo, I wouldn't be where I'm at today.